Hello, everyone. So the story of how I cried the first time during the pandemic may be a little less dismal than what most people would expect. It was me sitting by the windowsill of mine, pondering upon ye old children, pushing and pulling each other. And something overwhelming just came over me, and I broke down into tears. Even so, I was pretty scared myself to leave my house. And all the death and destruction looming around me didn't help much either. That, my friends, was the first time I realized just how much the pandemic had left a mark on us. Okay, let's face it, everyone. The last three years haven't exactly been the best in the history of mankind. I mean, six million people just disappearing from the face of the earth can be good, can it? Well, I'll start by using a really simple term, the black swan. Now, in case you've never heard of it, the black swan is something of an unexpected event, something that is abrupt and often tends to leave a long-lasting negative impact. Now, I hope you can see what point I'm trying to make here. Well, let's zoom out a little for a bit and talk about the world first. I'll start by listing down everything that went to hell in these past three years. Job production thrown out of the window. World economy burnt alive. The art of collaboration pierced by pitchforks and left in a deep, dark pit. Now that we've talked about a few of the cons, let's switch it up and talk about a few of the pros, shall we? Human technology through the roofs, human adaptability showcased to its fullest extent, sustainable alternatives to daily life, I think I might just faint. Now let's zoom in a little and talk about something that I'd like to say is my personal life. Now this makes me proud to say that even a person as deeply influenced by procrastination by, as me, as well, started what you're living, what you call a pretty productive life. I mean, the pandemic had opened up plenty of spare time for, for me, so instead of spending all day watching videos, and I used this time to cultivate on myself like any insane person would do. I mean, how long could you listen to your parents saying, hmm, no, beta, no? So, the next thing is, the first thing I realized is that learning new things is hard. I mean, you can't just start something from scratch and expect to master it in three days. What I realized is that it takes the effort of three hours spent every day for three years that really showed results. Case in point, I started learning Japanese about six months into the lockdown. And it was really hard. I mean, one month into learning Japanese, and I already felt like ripping my hair out. And now here I am, fresh and dandy, ready to give an official government-oriented exam in another six months. Another thing that I'd say has become more or less a part of my personality is a simple three-letter word called A-R-T. I remember looking up courses online and spending countless hours trying to jot down basic shapes. And I'd still say that my art is far from perfect, but I like to think I'm getting across. And now one thing that I'm sure every student here must have found themselves to be relating to is spending countless hours racking my brain on figuring things out like a PowerPoint presentation or a video editing software. And I wouldn't say that a single minute spent on these went to waste because I do and will find myself using these in literally every step of my life, be it now as a student or in my future job reports. Now, I found my entire life revolving around the single push of a button on my keyboard or the single tab on my phone screen, which it also got me these glasses. And now that we've talked about a few of the downsides, I, upsides, I'd actually also like to share a few of the downsides I went through. So, first off, I realized that the pandemic hadn't exactly been a learning experience the whole time. I learned the different flaws and loopholes of living an internet-oriented life. I mean, walking around with absolutely zero physical activity, there's only so much you could do. 
I learned and exploited the different flaws of online education, which I'm sure almost every student here must have done. I found out that you could get across, you could always submit your assignments at the last minute and get away with it. I learned that you can always get across everything without having to interact socially. And one more thing, which is probably the one that hit me the hardest, is that it completely destroyed the intricately crafted work-life balance created by people for generations. I'd see my own father wake up at 7 every morning and wrap things around at 11. And I'd see him spend every day cooped up in his little room, attending an endless barrage of calls from his clients, demanding to know the status of their orders. It completely flipped my family upside down. B between my mom not being able to balance her job at the school and my dad not being able to give us time, they break out into fights more often than I like to admit. Now, this gives me the confidence to say that the pandemic has been a roller coaster. Not for me, not for anyone sitting here, but the whole world. And even though it has caused plenty of death and destruction, it's also given us a chance to explore our surroundings, namely our home and our own minds. So the final lesson that I'd like to say that I've learned is that try to find happiness in the small things in life because you never know what's going to take them away. Thank you.